My name is Joel Meyerowitz. I'm a serious photographer, and I think of myself as a street photographer. I was born in New York City. I worked shooting on the streets of the city for 40 years. Joel Meyerowitz has been taking photos since the early 60s when he took to the streets. He is one of the first photographers who has made the transition from seeing in terms of black and white to recreating a world defined by colour. He is a new leading figure in the new colour movement of modern art photography and is widely admired for his masterful handling of it and his exploration of the effects of light and shadow. Well, what made you take to the streets as your basic environment? It seemed natural to me to go right to the street. That was the stream, that's where the fish were, that's where I wanted to be. And walking the streets provided me with all kinds of opportunities uh, that are about chance and time and speed. And I, I didn't see photography as something that I should manipulate in any way, that I should arrange like a portrait or a still life or anything studio-bound. I felt that it was about instantaneity. It didn't occur to me that, that serious photography existed. I just knew that I had to go out in the street with a camera and photograph. When I, when I photograph, uh, I have a machine that chips away at time at a thousandth of a second or 250th of a second. And I learned to make gestures in that small sliver of time, somehow to thrust myself into a crowd or into a situation. And that's what I saw Robert Frank doing that first afternoon. I think that's what moved me more than anything else was the fact that he was in motion while he was making still photographs. And it seemed to me to be some kind of irony there that you could flow and, and dance and keep alive and at the same time chip away at things and just cut them off. Street photography. It means to me being out on the street using your wits and your um, your sense of place, your sense of yourself in that place, your willingness to deal with chaos and uh, arbitrariness. Things come at you and you have to um, work with them. You have to be responsive and full of feeling and feeling and you have to pay attention. It's a kind of uh, reveling in the chaos of the street. I had always been um, strongly in favor of color photography. I think it's a half step closer to the way we feel and see reality. But I had to work in black and white because you couldn't print color with a kind of um, ease and, and command that you could print black and white. At a point in the 70s when color technology made one more turn in the revolution in photography, I understood that now was the moment to throw all the risk in that area. So it was a big step to cut off uh, black and white work and commit myself to color. You're really changing the nature of your response. You know, it's, uh, it's a very different game. You know? Because I assume that if you take a photograph, you've been responsive to something and that you looked hard at it. Hard for a thousandth of a second, hard for ten minutes, but hard nonetheless. But I'm interested in telling as clearly as I can what it is I see and feel. And color seems to do that. Joel Majorovitz has also experimented with film. Here is a short extract of one of his most well-known video installations entitled Air and Water.